Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. A semicircle contains an inscribed semicircle whose arc is tangent to the diameter of the large semicircle, dividing it into distances of 2 and 1. If the inscribed semicircle has a diameter whose length is equal to y, solve for the value of y. That's part 1 of the question. Part 2 is to generalize. Suppose the large semicircle's diameter is divided into lengths of a and b. Solve for y in terms of a and b. Part 3. Label the center of the large semicircle as O and the center of the inscribed semicircle as P. Consider all such inscribed semicircles and their center point P. The question is what is the locus of P? That is, what is the set of points that describes all possible positions of P? I thank Nick from Greece for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Let's solve for the general case first. Let t be the point of tangency along the large semicircle's diameter, and let q be this upper point of tangency. Since the inscribed semicircle has a diameter equal to y, its radius will be equal to y over 2. Construct the radius pt. Because t is a point of tangency, pt will be perpendicular to the diameter of the large semicircle. Furthermore, it's a radius of the inscribed semicircle, so its length will be equal to y over 2. Now construct OQ. It's a radius of the large semicircle. The large semicircle has a diameter equal to a plus b, so its radius will be half of a plus b. Next, construct the distance OT. Its distance will be equal to the radius of the large semicircle minus b. We can substitute for the radius of the large semicircle, and then we can simplify. OT will be equal to a minus b all over 2. Now construct the radius that goes through the points O and P. Because this bisects the diameter of the inscribed semicircle, it will be the perpendicular bisector. We now have two different right triangles that we can focus on. Let's get rid of everything else. We will now calculate the length OP squared in two different ways. First, let's calculate it in the blue triangle. It will be equal to the quantity a minus b all over 2 squared plus y over 2 the quantity squared. Now, in the green triangle, we can calculate OP squared in a different way. It will be equal to the square of the hypotenuse of this triangle minus the square of one of its legs. So this will be the quantity a plus b over 2 squared minus y over 2 the quantity squared. We have two equations that are equal to OP squared, so we can set these two equations equal to each other. Let's do that. We will now simplify by squaring each term. Now each term has a denominator equal to 4, so these will cancel out. We will now group like terms. We will then simplify this equation. The left hand side is 2y squared and the right-hand side will expand each binomial. We can then cancel out a squared and b squared. So we're left with 2y squared is equal to 4ab. We divide both sides by 2, and then we simplify. Thus, y squared is equal to 2ab. So we solve part 2 of the problem. We have y as a function of a and b. If we wanted to be more explicit, we could say y is equal to the positive square root of 2ab. Now let's tackle part 1. We have the two distances of a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. So we substitute y squared is equal to 2 times 2 times 1 
This means y squared is equal to 4, and y is equal to 2. That's part 1 of the question. Let's now tackle part 3. Consider the triangle OTP. We know that PT is equal to y over 2. Without loss of generality, suppose the large semicircle has a radius equal to 1. Suppose that OT has a length equal to x. Then the remaining distance will be equal to 1 minus x. From our formula that y squared is equal to 2 times a times b, we can see that a here is equal to 1 plus x and b is equal to 1 minus x. So we have y squared is equal to 2 multiplied by the quantity 1 plus x multiplied by the quantity 1 minus x. We can simplify this. y squared is equal to 2 minus 2x two squared. Now we're interested in the locus of point P. The point P has coordinates of x comma y over 2. So let's go back and simplify our equation further. We can rewrite it as 2x squared plus y squared is equal to 2. Then dividing both sides by 2, we get x squared plus y squared over 2 is equal to 1. We can further rewrite this as x squared plus 2 multiplied by the quantity y over 2 squared is equal to 1. And from here, we can see that this is the equation of an ellipse. Therefore, the locus of P is a semi-ellipse. It'll be the upper half of the ellipse described by this equation. This is the analytic solution. For fun, let's see it animated. As we change the inscribed semicircle, the point P will trace out the curve of a semi-ellipse. This is a beautiful geometry problem, and I hope you had as much fun solving it as I did. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.